In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the Maclaurin series for the cinch function. So let's start with the basic definitions, which we're going to need to be able to find our Maclaurin series. And we can define the cinch function in terms of exponentials, like so. We can do the same thing for the Cauch function, and we can get this expression here. And obviously, when we're finding a Maclaurin series, we're going to have to evaluate the cinch and Cauch function at zero. And by using the exponential definition, we can just substitute x equals 0, and that will give us our cinch 0 and cosh 0 values. So our cinch of 0 is always going to be 0, and our cosh of 0 is always going to be 1. The other thing we're going to have to do when we find our Maclaurin series is we're going to have a series of derivatives. So it would be useful to know the derivative of cinch and the derivative of cosh. And we can define those very simply. The derivative of cinch ends up being cosh, the derivative of cosh ends up being cinch. So you actually have this kind of swapping idea where the cinch becomes cosh and the cosh becomes cinch. And that's really nice and simple for taking our derivatives. So let's find all of our coefficients for the Maclaurin series. So we start off with our f of x equals cinch of x. And when we evaluate that at f of 0, that gives 0, which is what we worked out here. We then take the derivative, and we know that the derivative of cinch is cosh. And then we get this value, and we've evaluated it to get 1 as per this expression here. Then we take the derivative again to get our second derivative, end up with cinch, and we evaluate it, and we get 0 again. Then we take the derivative yet again, so we're on the third derivative, and we've got cosh. We evaluate that, and we get 1, just like we did there. And you should be spotting a pattern now. It's going 0, 1, 0, 1. And if you were to do this again, the cosh would become cinch, and that would end up being 0, so it would go 0. So there is a repeating pattern here. So it's basically alternating 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And it will just keep going on with that pattern forever. So it's a really nice, simple pattern. So we can start putting this together to get our full expression. So we've realized and proved that the series is just alternating 0, 1, 0, 1, etc. We can write out our formula for the Maclaurin series. So there's all your derivatives evaluated at 0, your factorials, and just you'll notice the powers are just going up by 1. And this is the expression that we're going to use. And we can simply replace each of these with our pattern. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. We end up with this. And you may notice that, in fact, only the odd terms are remaining. So 1, 3, and 5. So basically, every single even term is gone. So it's this series here. And this series, of course, is, is going on forever. And you may recall that in maths, odd numbers have a specific pattern. So the odd numbers in maths are given by 2n plus 1. So we've got x to the 2n plus 1, so that's our set of odd numbers, over 2n plus 1 factorial, which is the factorial of all of our odd numbers. And therefore, cinch, in terms of its Maclaurin series, is going to be this expression here. And that is how you very simply and very quickly can find the Maclaurin series for cinch, one of the nicest and most elegant Maclaurin series that there is. So I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.